The Shinkansen, or bullet train, has become an international symbol of Japan, and its quickness and convenience makes it many travelers' preferred way to get around the country. Recent changes, though, have made it a little less convenient and a little to a lot more expensive. I'm going to let you know about four major recent changes that could affect how and if you choose to use the Shinkansen for your travels around Japan. Firstly though, for newcomers to Japan, what exactly is the Shinkansen? The Shinkansen, often referred to as the bullet train, is a high-speed rail network known for its exceptional speed, efficiency and safety. The Shinkansen was first introduced in 1964 with the debut of the Tokaido Shinkansen, running between Tokyo and Osaka, just in time for the Tokyo Olympics. Since then, the Shinkansen network has expanded to cover most of Japan's major cities and regions. Key characteristics of the Shinkansen include High speed Shinkansen trains are designed for high speed travel. They can reach speeds of up to 320 km per hour depending on the specific Shinkansen line. Safety the Shinkansen has an outstanding safety record thanks to rigorous maintenance and advanced safety systems. It has never had a passenger fatality due to derailments or collisions since its inception. Efficiency The Shinkansen is renowned for its efficiency and reliability, making it a popular mode of transportation for both domestic and international travel. It is usually punctual with arrivals and departures from stations down to the exact minute. Environmental Considerations Shinkansen trains are designed to be energy efficient and produce fewer emissions compared to other modes of traditional transportation. Network Japan's Shinkansen network spans most of the country connecting all major cities. It consists of several lines, including the Tokaido Shinkansen, connecting Tokyo and Osaka, the Tohoku Shinkansen, which covers northeastern Japan, and the Kyushu Shinkansen, which covers the southern island of Kyushu. Technological Advancements The Shinkansen has continuously evolved and introduced new technologies over the years, including magnetic levitation, or maglev trains, which have the potential to travel at even higher speeds. The linear Chuo Shinkansen line is planned to link Tokyo and Nagoya by the year 2027, with the trip expecting to take only 40 minutes, faster than the current one and a half hour trip on today's Tokaido line. Tourist affordability. One of the biggest benefits of using the Shinkansen for tourists is the availability of buying in using a Japan Railroad or JR Pass. This transit pass, only available to those with tourist visas, allows users to use all JR trains including the Shinkansen for no extra ticket charge. As of September 2023, the pass costs 29,610 yen, around 223 US dollars for seven days, 47,250 yen for 14 days, and 60,450 yen for 21 days. If you plan on traveling extensively throughout Japan and not just staying in Tokyo and Kyoto, it certainly is a good deal. But some major changes to the pass have happened and are scheduled to happen that might make you reconsider using this iconic transportation method while visiting or living in Japan. Number one, luggage restrictions. For years, tourists could simply bring all their luggage with them while traveling between cities on the Shinkansen. Most luggage could be stored in the overhead bins above your seats or above someone else's if there was space. You could also store it beneath your feet or in front of your knees, but that usually wasn't the most comfortable option. Oversized luggage that couldn't fit in the overhead bins safely 
could be stored behind the last row of seats in each train, even if you were not sitting in those seats. But all this changed in 2020, with JR introducing new rules for taking luggage on the Shinkansen. Travelers with luggage being between 161 and 250 square centimeters must now make a reservation, including certain seating, to take these larger bags with them. No more jumping on the non-reserved seating cars of the Shinkansen at the last minute, or picking that perfect seat number for a view of Mount Fuji if you have oversized bags. There is no extra charge if you make the reservation, but if you don't and just show up on the Shinkansen, they will make you purchase change your tickets to the special oversized baggage seats, sit there, and pay a 1,000 yen fee. Luggage under 160 square centimeters linear dimensions can still be brought on without a reservation. And luggage over 251 square centimeters is not allowed on the train. Number 2. JR Pass Changes JR announced in early 2023 that major changes will take place regarding the JR Pass from October 1st, 2023 the most major of which is a dramatic and drastic price increase. The new cost of the Japan Rail Pass will increase by around 70%, turning the pass into a much less attractive product than it currently is. Under the new price structure, the 7-day pass will cost more than the current 14-day pass, making it much harder to justify purchasing. The pass now remains a good option only for those who will travel extensively throughout the country and those who value the simplicity of being able to board trains without the need of purchasing additional tickets. The pass will also undergo some minor changes. It will now allow holders to use the fastest Nozomi trains and Mizuho trains, which they couldn't before with the pass. That's great news, right? But wait, there's a catch. You can use these faster trains with the JR Pass, but you will still need to pay a hefty supplemental fee depending on the distance traveled, and I do mean hefty. To take the Nozomi train from Tokyo to Nagoya with the JR Pass, you'll still have to pay an extra 4,180 yen, for example. So why the price increase? Japan Railways has justified these increases by stating that the base price of the JR Pass has barely changed in decades, along with a couple of other factors. These being the yen's decline in value relative to other currencies, and the inflation of energy costs and rising maintenance and operational costs for the network. Hmm. All good reasons, but so drastic a change all at once? you're really going to have to calculate the transportation costs of your itinerary now to see if it's worth buying. Number 3. No more unreserved seating on the Nozomi during peak seasons. First, it's important to understand that there are two types of Shinkansen tickets, reserved seats and unreserved seats. Reserved seats guarantee a designated seat on a particular train, while unreserved tickets grant you access to any available seat in a non-reserved car on a Shinkansen train heading to your destination on the same day. Opting for unreserved seats offers increased flexibility in your departure time, which can come in handy if you have a busy schedule. Additionally, unreserved seats are a bit cheaper than reserved ones. So the third major change that JR is making is that it will be eliminating the use of unreserved seat tickets on the Nozomi Shinkansen, its fastest and most popular train during peak travel seasons. JR says this policy change will take effect at the three busiest travel times of the year, the New Year's, Golden Week, and Obon vacation periods. The company has stated that the introduction of this new policy is a direct reaction to the problem of overcrowding in unreserved seat trains during peak periods. According to JR, when these cars become full, passengers holding unreserved tickets often find themselves waiting on a station platform, hoping to catch a seat on the subsequent train. 
this heightened congestion is causing significant delays in the boarding and disembarking process for passengers, ultimately resulting in delays to the departure of trains. So, it appears to be bye-bye to jumping in a non-reserved car at the last minute during these peak periods. The reserved seat-only nose-only policy will take effect for the first time later this year between December 28, 2023 and January 4, 2024. Number 4. No more food cart service. For over half a century, passengers on Japan's high-speed rail lines have relied on trusty food carts pushed by polite, uniformed staff for food and drink needs on their travels. These are soon to become a thing of the past. On August 8, 2023, Japan Railway announced the termination of its food cart service for the Tokaido Shinkansen route. As mentioned before, this is the busiest Shinkansen route in Japan, covering the major cities of Tokyo, Nagoya, Kyoto, and Osaka. The last carts will roll down the bullet train aisles on October 31st, 2023. According to JR, there are two reasons for the termination of the cart service. One is the difficulty in finding staff amidst the general labor shortage affecting much of Japan. To date, JR has been unable to adequately staff around 30% of its Nozomi and Hikari services on the Takedo route. The company says it has been forced to place only two attendants on trains that would usually have three. The other reason is the increased competition of passengers purchasing foods and drinks at convenience stores and in-station bento box shops. Since Shinkansen stations usually have various food and drink options adjacent to track entrances, it's become easier to purchase meals for one's trip prior to boarding. So, there you have it. Four important changes that could affect how and if you use the Shinkansen. I'm not sure what JR is doing, but I think they are making this iconic form of transportation in Japan a lot less attractive, especially for tourists. What do you think? Feel free to leave your opinions in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel for more interesting tidbits from Japan.